If you want to film or photograph yourself or activate a second camera, then this clever little remote controller is the thing for you. So let's take a look. Hi, I'm Tim at Slipstream. Now, if you've ever been in that situation where you set your camera up, you hit record, you run around, you sit down in your chair, you delivered your lines and you've mucked them up. So you get up, you run around, you turn your camera off, you think about what you've got to say, hit record, run around, sit down and try it all again. That sounded familiar? Well, I've got a fantastic little solution for you here with this great little gadget. And I've also found it's got some other really good uses. If you're doing, for example, landscape photography and you want to use a really slow shutter and you want to shoot, let's say, at night, and you don't want to touch a camera because it's going to give it camera shake or maybe it's during the day and you want the water to be nice smooth silky smooth so you want to slow shutter speed again with this little remote control you can activate the camera without even touching it other scenarios i found i'm doing product photography i haven't got an assistant i need to hold a product in place or just move it move it a little bit and like how do you go about doing that well with a remote control like this you can just go around, hold the product, take the photograph, you can focus it and you've got your shot. Also, I found when I'm operating two cameras, whether I'm filming or shooting, and you might be behind one camera, again, you might not have an assistant, and you can activate the other camera to shoot the other angle or get some behind the scenes footage. So I found this is a fantastic little solution for these scenarios. And the thing I like about this one is it's a Bluetooth remote commander. And the advantages are it's got a 10 meter range and it'll work really well in bright sunlight and behind objects. Whereas if you've got an infrared one, they're just line of sight. The way to set these up is you need to go to your camera setup, you go into the menu, you go to network two, You go to the Bluetooth settings and then you go down to the Bluetooth function and you switch that on. And then there's a drop down to the pairing and then you click on that and then you need to activate your pairing on the device. So you go to the um, remote control device and you hold down the camera icon and the plus button simultaneously and the little red light at the top will start flashing and it's gone into pairing mode so you go back to the camera and you just click OK and then those are paired up now just bear in mind if later at another day you're going to pair it with a different camera when you go back to the same camera you will need to go through the process again they have some super little features on here. It has an autofocus on button and a C1 button that'll activate your custom keys. So with the autofocus on button, if you want to change what that does on your camera, you again, you go to the menu, you go to the movie, and you go along to uh, the ninth page and you hit custom operation one. You go to the custom key, and on page one, you drop down three and you click on that and you will see 27 different pages of all the functions you can set up to be activated with that button. And likewise, with the C1 button here, you can do the same thing, but this time you go along to page three, which will show you the buttons on the top of the camera, which is where the C1 button is. And on the first option, you click on that. And again, you've got 27 pages of different options you can set to be activated from this remote control. Now again, you can take a photo using the photo icon on here. And if you half press it, it'll also focus the uh, lens ready for the shot. And then you've got the recording button there as well, the red button, so you can use that to record. On the side here, we have a slider and that can be for zoom or for focusing. So if you've got it set in focusing on the side, and as long as your camera is in manual focus mode, you can use these plus and minus buttons to then focus the camera or do a pull focus. If it's in zoom mode, then as long as you've got a Sony power zoom lens, you can then again with the plus and minus button, zoom uh, the lens. 
So uh, on the other side, you then you've got a lock. So if you're put into record mode and then you popped it in your back pocket, as long as the lock's on, that won't change. So fantastic little gadget. And in conclusion, things I really like about this is it's actually it's very cheap. It's small, it's light, it works really well. It's got a ton of uses and uh, I've just found it really, really nice little accessory to have in my kit bag. So let me know in the comments if you have any trouble setting yours up and I'll try and help you troubleshoot. And um, please subscribe to my channel to get to all the next videos and I'm launching one tomorrow that'll be about the new specs of the Sony Alpha A7R that's being launched tomorrow. So I'll be filming late with all those um, specs and the information on that. And I will see you in the next one.